Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a comparison video of the Nextorch TA30 Max and the Nextorch TA30 C Max. Sound pretty similar, but there are some important differences that you want to know. Um, and especially if you're in the market for a tactical flashlight, these are both great options. So let's talk a bit about what's included. So we both, uh, both of them come with a 21700 cell. You get a pocket clip on the TA. 30C Max. You also get one on the TA30 Max, though I swapped this one around uh, with a tactical ring, a FR2 ring. So apart from that, lanyard, instruction manual, that's about it. I think you might get a couple of O-rings as well, but pretty similar sort of setup. In terms of the design and build quality, I mean, comparing them side by side, it's very hard even to tell which is which. If I even just turn that one over, you'd be hard pressed to figure out which uh, which flashlight is which, okay? But, you know, same sort of these cutouts on the head. This is anti-roll design, which I really like. Helps you to just make sure the flashlight doesn't move around too much, though the ring helps a bit as well. They're both a little bit chunkier around their head, as you can see, but that does help dissipate more heat and also increase the overall range of the flashlight. It's some great anodization here at the end of the day. Both of them are quite similar in terms of the overall feel of the anodization. You've got that typical Next Torch matte black finish. I'm kind of thinking this one is actually slightly more matte black than that one there. This is less of a sheen, but uh, it's a grippy anodization. And that's why I think you, you can get away with this nice, neat, checkered sort of knurling on the flashlight. It's already very grippy on its own. I'm a big fan of the build quality of Next Torch flashlights. They're very consistent across the board. They're high quality, you know, with the anodizing and also with the machining of the flashlights. There's no nicks, anything like that. But you can just feel it when you pick it up that it's a step above most other flashlights out there. So excellent quality, excellent finish. In terms of the disassembly, you can't really disassemble them. You can just take off the tail cap that's pretty much about it. You're not able to get into the head of the flashlight, anything like that. I don't want to do that anyway, but that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, Next Torch offer a five-year warranty in all their flashlights, and so you see they don't want you opening it up and potentially damaging it and having it sent back. So, so both these flashlights come with 21700 cells, but you have to charge that cell outside the flashlight both come with the USB cable to actually charge it. So no issues there. It takes about a couple of hours to charge it to max if it's completely empty. In terms of size comparisons, really not much difference there. The bezel though, I would say is a little bit larger. Let's have a look at the bezel sizes. So the TA30, uh, TA30C max is about 35. Let's have a look, 35 millimeters. And next torch TA30 Max is, let's have a look here, also 35 millimeters. So they are pretty much the same diameter, which is interesting. I think next torch had listed the TA30 C Max as a 38 millimeter bezel. So actually, I'm glad that it's not that large. It would have been a bit uncomfortable. It would have kind of come out to about here. So they've kept the same, uh, the same bezel design across the board for both of them. You've also got the nice little orange peel reflector. Also, one difference you might notice is that the metal that they're using here is different. This is titanium metal, and this is stainless steel. You've got these three ceramic beads as well, these glass breaking beads on each of those flashlights. Let's go a bit into the UI. So the UIs are really like pretty much identical. So I'll yeah, I'll just run through this one. So basically you have got the tactical mode here. So then where the little white dot is, what that means is that when you press the button halfway, you get the full 3000 lumen output. If you press fully, you've got a uh, strobe, okay, strobe. And there is really a strong tactile feel. You know when it has hit that second mode. So you're kind of pressing it. And then there's that, it's sort of a bit of resistance and you can tell. And I think that's a good feature so that you don't accidentally activate the strobe. On the side of the flashlight, you got these, these like other modes. So you can switch to low, medium, high, and a full strobe like that. Okay. 
And that is basically it. Notice a little bit of flashing there as well as you soon you turn on and off the flashlight or if you take off the tailgate, put it back on, it measures the battery voltage and tells you how much capacity is left in there. This is a really cool uh, little feature from the Next Torch TA30C Max. Um, you don't have that on the TA30. Also, the tail cap is a bit different. It's like a rubber tail cap, but it has the same feature, half press to access that um, turbo mode and then full press to put it onto strobe. Pretty much everything else is the same. They've changed the little uh, rotating ring slightly. So the one that one here, as you can see, design is kind of like the little knurling bits, grippy bits are closer together. And uh, apart from that, it's pretty much the same. I think this one is also slightly wider. I feel like this is just a, a touch easier to use. But um, look, roughly, pretty much, but really they function exactly the same. Here uh, you can see a bit of a close-up on both of the LEDs. On the left-hand side, I've got the TA30C Max, and they've upgraded the LED to a de-domed uh, de one. This is the XH. P50.3 high, and it's definitely more of a throwier beam, but you do get the benefits of the uh, flood as well, produces quite a lot of flood. And the one on the right here, TA30 Max, uses an XHP50.2 previous generation LED, more focused on flood. It still has a large hotspot in the center. Same can be said of the XHP50.3 high. Hotspot is definitely more visible and it throws further. I think I measured close to 500 meters on this one here to the left so something to keep in mind but both have very nice beams without any artifacts and uh, something that i was quite pleased of because when you get de-domed leds sometimes you you get some artifacts some reenness in the beams difficult to diffuse uh, dif diffuse the beam properly but next torch have done a really great job there so that's pretty much about it i'm going to put up some beam shots at the end of the video so make sure you stick around to check them out if you have any questions about both these flashlights, just let me know down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you enjoy the video, make sure you do me a favor, click that like button, it helps me get my videos out to more people. And if you wanna see me make more videos, make sure you subscribe. So I'm gonna be doing a comparison of the Nextorch TA30 Max versus the Nextorch TA30C Max. So the TA30 will be on the left and the TA30C Max will be on the right. So let's go ahead and switch these on. So that's 30 max, TA30 max, TA30C max. Whoa, look at that throw. That's really significant. Big difference. You know, that's the 30C, TA30, sorry, this is the TA30, and TA30C, that XHP. 50.3 really gives it that additional throw and it's a, the XHP 50.3 high which is a de-domed LED whereas this one here the 50.2 it's not de-domed but it does produce a very nice floody beam for sure but it just can't compete with the 50.3 here on the right Look at that. Oh. Just hitting that tree, showing you the difference. Kind of got it just on tactical mode, holding down that tactical switch at the back. So that tree at the back there, look at that. Significant difference. The illumination back there. Um, in terms of overall flood, in terms of overall flood, they are quite similar. TA30C, pretty similar. TA30 Max. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's too much difference. But, yeah, the TA30C is a little brighter. Especially in that hot spot, a lot of the lumens seem to be distributed in the center of the beam. But, in terms of the flood, I can't really tell much of a difference between the, the brightness of the flood areas. It's more the center of the beam. Look at that. Incredible. Yeah. No, it is slightly brighter, actually. The flood is slightly, slightly brighter. It could be due to the TA30 ramping down. Uh, when I put it next to each other like this, it's actually much more, 
much more apparent with the TA30 and the TA30C.